Hey guys, welcome to another World of Tanks replay. And uh, today, we're going to play the last evolution of the Italian medium line, which is the Pajero 65. Now, I've already covered the Pantera, the P44, and the uh, Pajero 46, and the Standard B. Uh, so you can tell I've got a little bit of an Italian love affair going on. Well, I finally got good enough, perhaps, to graduate to the uh, to the tier 10. And it's really, it's one of the few tier 10s that I actually uh, succeed in, let's say. Uh, and today we're on a battle on the cliff. And we're going to take a look at some of the, uh, the abilities and the, the gameplay style of this Pajero 65. Now, unlike the standard B that comes before it, it has a four-round auto reloader. Uh, similar alpha, similar, similar penetration, same kind of rounds. It has uh, 330 pen with heat. But I find I very rarely need to use heat in this, in this tank, unless you're coming full frontal with some heavies. And if you're doing that, you're probably playing it wrong. And there's our first victim. You see, we just got the standard round, which is the APCR. And uh, got a big, heavy Polish tank here. We took a chunk out of him, the 50 TP. Would we have done as much damage if it was a 60 TP? I don't know. But he's seen as he's coming for us now, and I'm looking around for some friends, and here they are backing me up. Also worried about the uh, the artillery, knowing, now, knowing where I am. We get another round in on this guy. Ah, we, we leave it too long, and... Uh, Bounce off his side armor. Oh, we know where the grill is now. He's up on the hill. Might have to get some revenge for that in a little while. But we got our first kill. I drop back just while I reload. And that is the problem with this tank, is the time it takes to reload. Especially when you use uh, more and more of these rounds. The deeper you go into the mag, the lower your DPM becomes. And I... I think it's around 2200 DPM you can achieve with this tank, but if you start dipping into that mag, um, it's probably going to drop to about maybe 1600. Now, the interquip reload on this tank is slightly better than the standard B. The standard B being three seconds, and uh, the uh, interquip reload on this tank being two and a half seconds, but it didn't stop us uh, making mincemeat out of that uh, lever, did it? Of course, we were helped with the ammo rack there. Uh oh, I heard the SPG shell coming in, but it wasn't for us, fortunately. And while we're talking about uh, reload times, the intercut reload for the Pajero 46, of course, is, is only two seconds. That's very quick to get those rounds out. And uh, they also reload quicker. And there's our friend, the Grilly. Can we get a shot on him? We can just about get a pixel. Now we'll take a look at the equipment I have on this when we get back to the garage later. And I'll also take a look at the field mods that I've uh, I've put on this tank. And I've recently been playing around with the final field mod. Um, and we, we, we can check that out. Jagdpanzer E100. We don't fancy going up against him. There's a defender down there as well. Well, the grill has now been taken out. So the closest tank to us is the E100. So let's see what we can uh, we can do about him. I'm not looking forward to this. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. To go full frontal against the uh, the Jagdpanzer E100 is not a good idea. But he is on a slope. Um, and speaking of slopes, this tank has, I believe, nine degrees of gun depression. Um, the standard B has a full ten. Um, I think the Panzer is maybe only eight. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Uh, can't quite see him because of the wall. Now he's going down. We've got a nice side shot, which we ricochet. But then he shows us his underbelly. We get one in. And we were lucky there. He wasn't loaded because he would have... Uh, maybe he doesn't have enough gun depression to get us anyway, but... Uh, He fired, but he missed us. I think he was aiming at us. But now he's in trouble, because if we can track him and hold him in place, he can't even swing his gun round. And we can just finish him off. 
And this is how you need to play. The, the good thing about having the auto order is that you can put the first round in, you can track them, hold them in place. You've got three more rounds. Should you need them. So a little bit more about the gun on this. Um, aim time, I think base is about 2.4, which again is the same as the standard B. Dispersion is roughly similar. Bring that down with uh, V stabs and vents and other crew skills. Snapshot on the like. Um, and I think I already mentioned the gun depression. Yeah, it's nine degrees on the. Uh, um, I'm just checking on uh, on tanks GG as, as as I make the video. Um, yeah, the standard B has a has a has a ten degree gun depression. And one degree can, uh, can be a lot. Now this tortoise has not much chance of me getting in until he turns to the side, and of course he turns to the side. So um, is he going to provide our fifth kill? We track him as well, so we should get tracking damage, and we miss with that round, and we don't have any rounds left, so somebody else takes that. That could be my top gun out of the window. Who's left? Who's left? We've got a Scorpion and a Defender. Um, so up to 4.5k damage in this tank already, and almost a 1,000 spotting. Jousting with this uh, with this Borsig here, trying to get round and hit the Defender. Um, he wants to fight his way in front of me. The defender gave me in the side of his turret. That's nice of him. Um, and if I just had that final shot, ah, I go in for the ram, but somebody else takes him out first. Never mind. And I completely forget about the SPG towards the end of the gaming. I think it's over. Now I said we were going to take a look at some of the field mods here. And uh, we had a choice for the first one, and we took the hull and gun traverse speed. Um, I think that's the right one to take here. And uh, for the second one, we could have gone for increased aiming um, or better dispersion and uh, during movement and gun traverse, and we, we took that one. A little bit of extra concealment never hurt anybody, did it? I don't think there's, uh, there's any need to take the turbocharger tuning. And aiming gears again to increase the aiming speed and the circle size. But we do lose a little bit of reload time. Uh, and finally, we take a look at the, uh, at the view range above speed and power. Now, since I made the video, I've switched this between my EU account and my NA account. I had a difference here. And I think the right one to go for is the extra speed and power. So here was, here was the battle. It was a victory, obviously. Um, only five kills, but we uh, we did quite a substantial amount of damage there. A couple of medals there. We also got the high caliber for the uh, the highest amount of damage, and we got the uh, the tank sniper medal. I think that is for shooting beyond a certain distance. And I'm pretty sure we did some uh, decent spotting there as well. You can see here I've got the bond vents. I've got uh, bond optics, and I've got a bounty, an improved bounty, rot not rotation mechanism. What am I talking about? Uh, stabilizers. And you can see over there on the right, that's 25% uh, negative dispersion during movement and traverse. Uh, another minus three dispersion during movement, minus three during hull traverse. And, uh, but plus 20 of a damaged gun. I don't care. I carry a, med I carry a kit. Don't have to worry about that. And uh, obviously minus 15% to aim in circle size after firing. That was another one of the field mods. Um, here's the team score, top of the board there, um, almost 5k, and uh, 1000 base XP there. A uh, quick look at the uh, the crew we have here, and we share this, I think we share this with the Pajero, uh 46 premium tank. Um, one of the Christmas ladies there, um, Commander Hayworth, she's got uh, six skills going on there, and the rest of the crew have uh, around five. And you see the detail report, we... Uh, we made uh, not too bad a profit there. One thing uh, I did notice in this battle was uh, I got 132 battle pass points, and I don't know where they came from. I know where 50 came from because it was part of the premium mission, but I didn't complete any of the missions that I was aware of here and uh, ended up with a massive amount. Anyway, absolutely great tank. I do love this tank. I'm glad that I didn't just stick with a standard B and, and be too scared to move up to tier 10. Uh, because this is an absolute beauty. So if you get a chance to get hold of this one, guys, um, I'd advise you do. Obviously, coming up through the other tanks, learning how to play the Pantera, learning how to play the Standard B, and um, yeah. 
Um, get it, guys, and uh, knock yourself out. Well, thanks for tuning in for this one. Um, I'll be back soon with another one, no doubt. Until then, uh, take care, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye now.